Your students can make digital posters with Google Drawings. So here's an example that I've made here. So Google Drawings are another file type inside of Google Drive. So if you want to make a drawing, you go to Drive and then select New or Create and then choose Drawing. It's a red icon. So once you have that new file, here is a one I've just started. So you're going to start with a blank area. If you want to change the background color, you can right click and then choose background and select your color. And now you can begin adding things for your topic. So in my case, I'm researching Martin Luther King Jr. So to do some research, I can go to tools and select research. So instead of having to go and search outside of my window, I can search right alongside of my poster. Really nice. I don't have to print anything either. It's all going to be digital. So you can do a Google search for your topic. And as you can see, I get all of his date of birth, place of birth, and information about him. So I want to add a heading for my poster. So I'm going to use the text tool to draw a text box and then enter my title. Okay. I'm going to make that bigger and change how it looks. So I want to point out the fonts in uh, Google Drive. You can always go down to more fonts to add lots of cool looking fonts. So I'm going to choose this one. Make it a little bigger. There we go. And get this set how we like it. Okay. Another cool thing is in poster and in, in poster in drawings, you can click on the edges of your text box and images, and you're going to see a red center line appear. So you can center things really quickly. So that's centered. So now I want to add a picture. So if I wanted this picture, I could simply click and drag, and it drops that picture straight into my poster. So that's one way to do it is to actually use the research paint and you can see that it's actually linked to the place where it comes from. So it's a good way for students to cite where they got their images. Another way to add images is go to insert and then image and then if you click on the search option here you can also uh, look for images to add. And uh, as you can see, the results are labeled for commercial reuse, so you're following all copyright law, which is really important to teach your students. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this picture, and let me click and then center this here, get that red center line. Okay, so uh, in the research pane, I've got Google, Google search, I can look for images, and then I can also look for quotes. So I want to add a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. So Whenever I search quotes, I get all of these nice quotes here. So I like this one. Uh, and once I find a quote I like, I can simply click on the insert button and it makes a text box for me. So it just pops that over into my drawing. So I'm going to sort of resize this a little bit and then change my text, make it larger a little too big. Okay, and then I can change my text color. Okay, and so I can add lots more to this poster if I wanted to add shapes. I could choose shapes and change the colors there. I could add more images. Um, but the last thing I want to end here is that if I want to go back to my Google search results, and maybe I want to add a link to more information for my my viewer, I can find a website that I like. So maybe I like this National Geographic website. If I click insert link, it's going to drop a link onto my drawing. So I can click ahead of that and then give a little bit of information. I can say click here for more information about Martin Luther King Jr. So I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Okay, and then I can center this on my drawing. Okay, great. So that's how you can make a digital poster with Google Drawings and the research pane. Pretty cool. Uh, before I leave, I want to remind you that if you have students working in a group, the share button is a really cool tool. So you can have, you know, groups of students working and sharing at the same time.